สวัสดีครับ Greeting from กสิทธิ์พิรมยา from Bangkok once again and this week in early August 2023 I could not help but to speak about the current Thai political life once again. It looks confusing and it also looks very complicated. Complicated. Why is it so? Because the system as laid out in the constitution and in the election laws and so on is complicated, unprecedented compared to anything in the world at large. Because in a democratic setting in general in many countries all over the world, whichever political party that wins the most vote would be allowed, mandated, or understood to be the one that would form the government or the coalition government of that particular country. And I could cite the United Kingdom, Israel, Japan, and so on that whichever political parties that come first in the national elections would proceed to form the government by itself or with some coalition partners of other political parties and so on. But in the Thai case, under the present constitution of the year, I think 2017, it stipulated that uh, after the general elections, Okay, the party that has the most vote would have to present itself to the parliament, the joint sitting of the upper and the lower house to propose its candidate to become the next prime minister of Thailand. And that candidate has to be voted by the parliament of about of 750 members, 250 of which do come from the upper house from the Senate. The other 500 come from the lower house or the house of representatives. So in that sense, the coming into being of a prime minister of Thailand under the present constitution is a two-step affair or, or procedures. First, the results of the national elections. Second, the elections or the voting inside the parliament, okay, to make a decision on the prime ministership of Thailand. That's These two steps leads to all the confusion and to the complication because the constitution says so. That's why it's confused. Then the question is why did why does this constitution say so? Because the constitution was designed by the military authorities that staged the coup d'etat in the year twenty fourteen. It was designed in order to help facilitate the continuation of the military authorities in the political life of Thailand. So in this constitution, the upper house, the Senate of 250 members was being set up, nominated by the military authorities a few years ago, with the power to also vote for the prime minister candidate. Okay, so the senator of 250 members were the brainchild of the military authorities. 
uh, the military, some of the military authorities and so on, went about setting up their own political parties with the hope that they will have a number of substantial votes to propose a prime minister candidate to the parliament that could be, I think, receiving the 250 votes of the upper house or the senate. So it was designed in order to cater to the interests and the continued political activities of members of the military establishment. And it was expected that the political parties with the backing of the military authorities and so on would not exactly win outright at the national elections on the 14th of May, but would have a sort of a number that is substantive enough, steps, enough okay, to propose a candidate that would be getting the support of the upper house. But the elections on the 14th of May turned out that the political parties that were backed by the military authorities and their partners in the other political parties and so on, all of them more or less did not achieve substantial numbers as expected of the seats in the parliament. But the only party that got so much votes to the surprise of everyone was the Move Forward Party. They got 151 seats in the House of Representatives, which translated into the popular vote. They did gain 14 million votes. The expectation before the elections that was that they should not get, they should get about seven to eight million votes at most. But they got 14 million votes. So then the votes that they got were the votes that they took from the political parties that had the backing of the arm of the military authorities and from the other parties, every parties, you know, that could be the coalition partners of the political parties that are backed up by the military authorities. And even the Pur Thai party, which before the 14th of May election had 240 votes in the House of Representatives. After the 14th of May elections, they only got 141 votes, seats. They lost 100 seats. So we could say that on the 14th of, of May, every political party except the Move Forward Party lost the election. They lost the elections. So the table turned around. The expectation that the political parties backed by the armored forces and so on would have a substantial vote added to their possible coalition partners and so on would also have a prime minister candidate that would look quite good, OK? authentic, believable, and so on. And they would also have the 250 votes forthcoming from the upper house from the Senate. But when things did not turn that out, the confusion occurred. The complication started to reign the political arena of Thailand. So there has been attempt for the past few weeks and so on inside the parliament to deny the candidacy of the Move Forward Party. Through all the elections, through parliamentary rules and all of this and so on. But in short, the Prime Minister candidate of the Move Forward Party could not get the 250 votes of the Senate or the Senators. So without the 250 votes from the Senate, it, would, it has been very difficult for any prime minister candidate of any political party to get the nomination to become the next prime minister of Thailand. So at the moment, for the past few days and so on, horse trading and juggling is going on and so on. 
to find a prime minister candidate that would be acceptable not only to the members of the House of Representatives or the lower house, but would also be acceptable to members of the Senate or the 250 senators. And I think this is things that is, uh, are going on at the moment. Then what is my guessing game? I believe that eventually there would be a candidate okay, from the smaller party and so on that would be that candidate would be acceptable to the Senate and he or she will become the next Prime Minister of Thailand. And my guessing game is that eventually General Pravit Wong Suwan used to be a big shot in the army and in the political arena of Thailand for the past 10, 15 years and so on will become the prime minister candidate and he will definitely get all the 250 votes from the upper house or most of the votes from the upper house and that would facilitate his being elected as the next prime minister of Thailand. So in short, the key to the whole final decision on who is going to be the next Prime Minister of Thailand depends on the votes of the 250 senators, pure and simple. If you don't get the vote from the senator, no other candidate would ever become the next Prime Minister of Thailand. Because out of the 750 seats in the whole parliament, a Prime Minister candidate must get 376 votes and the votes to be obtained from the House of Representatives by any candidate to get the 376 would not be impossible would not be possible because there are differences and competition among the parties and so on so a prime minister candidate therefore needs not only the votes of the members of the House of Representatives but it needs, essentially needs the vote of the, of the senators also. So that's what has been the confusion and the complication and so on. And I hope that what I have been trying to explain would help clarify the whole things a bit, uh, lessen the confusion and the complication of the whole thing. Okay. In short, the prime minister, the prime minister candidate of Thailand would need the votes of the Senate in order to become the next Prime Minister of Thailand. And for whatever it is and so on, that should help to finally end the confusion and the complication so that Thailand can have a new Prime Minister and that Prime Minister can move Thailand forward into the challenges of the world at large. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.